Give me the story. Victim's a stolen watch dealer. Looks like the perp made off with all his product. Seems he lost track of time. What was the cause of death? Our guy had his eyes gouged out with an ice cream scoop. Talk about in. Eyesore. This case is certainly eye-catching. I can't watch this. Our killer seems pretty irate. Was the victim defiant? Something something, I pun. That explains why our victim doesn't look all right. I eat. Why is he so pale? He was also injected with a deadly virus. So we've got a stolen watch dealer injected with a deadly virus. Looks like the killer thought it was time to go viral. Hey CSI, or Law & Order Cyber Casting Directors, their schedules are wide open, or SVU, as normal civilians of course, not sex offenders. Welcome to Viral Vision, I'm your host Eric Wolf, who contrary to popular belief, is not Law & Order creator Dick Wolf, or the love child of Bo Burnham and Loomer from Ned's Declassified. Dang it guys, who wrote that? Come on, seriously? Was that you Eli? Yo! Are they being mean to you, Dare Bear? Guys, that's my grandma, Evelyn. Well, are they? Yes, grandma, they are. Derek, look at me. Look at me, Derek. What? A box of tissues? Go cry about it, you pansy. Dang it, grandma. Why can't you be more like Betty White? Hey, young man, respect your elders. When I hosted the virulent comedy laughings hour on the tube, I was winning Emmys by the truckload. What has your pedant little show ever won? Shut up, Grandma. Us millennials are way smarter than you. It was loaded, and I shot at my computer screen. I didn't. Oh my! It never fired before that. Okay, I can see where my grandma's coming from now. You dumb teen. You're not supposed to take screenshots seriously. But please, remember conservatives, guns don't kill screens. Whiny nerds kill screens. Well, that's one way of getting kids to play outside. Somewhere in the world, you can hear Michelle Obama patting herself on the back with her muscly monster arms. My favorite fall vegetable is a sweet potato. If that didn't creep you out, you must be related to Ted Kaczynski. Now, I'm not anti-Obama or anything. I just get a little intimidated by a woman who could kill me by hitting me with one arm. But hey, at least she's not hitting people with sledgehammers. Yet. Yeah. Two, three. That guy was nuts. Correction, he lost his nuts. At least he was wearing a face mask. Now he'll just have to face the fact that he'll forever have a gash in his wiener. This is why you can't give the nutcracker an ax. He can't resist it. Some parts have a slight curve to them, but not very many are flat. Two, three. The American education system is foolproof, except for these two fools. If you listen closely, you can hear the ghost of this dude's future children. Eh, I mean, it's probably better he didn't reproduce. Well, he still is using an axe correctly, because technically, he still is splitting wood. He's going to need some cover-up to put on that, like these guys do in this week's Talent vs. Challenge. Thanks, Derek. I'm Alex. And I'm Kiefer. And today, we'll be given pretty tools that we know nothing about to apply makeup to these lovely ladies' faces. To try and make these girls look as hot as 2009 Snooki. There won't be any winners, but oh, there will be losers in this week's Talent vs. Challenge. Okay. Well, let's figure out how to open this thing first. <laughs> Um, hey, I know what this one is. Wow. Stop making okay. fun of me. There you okay. go. There you go. I don't recognize anything here. You get my teeth? Nope. No. Oh, Seriously. good job. What are we got a pro over here? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is a line lid, yes. Just <laughs> trying not to poke you in the eye. Well, you are, so it's okay. You don't know what girls go through. It might be some kind of lip gloss, possibly. Mm. Oh, God. Alright, now I need something. Why? 
Mind those photos them okay. and pray to God. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm gonna hire you as my makeup artist. I mean, until then. I'm just so impressed. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can I just go abstract with it now? You Close can do eyes. whatever you want. Mind this <sighs> I feel like he's stroking your eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so That's sorry. good here. This is the. <laughs> no. Okay then. Well, all right. As you can see, Steiner Cosmetics does a bang up job. Come in and you'll have a different makeup artist, Ricardo. He does great work. <laughs> he did a really good job. He's Thank a natural you. makeup Thank artist. You. Yeah, I'm not gonna hire him yet. I think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you look wonderful. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Everybody looks beautiful. Friends of Sonia and Katie, feel free to use this as blackmail. Back to you, Derek. Thanks, guys and ladies. You are so beautiful to me. Ugh. Guys, why do you make me sing every episode? I'm sick of it. No, Derek, you can do this. Who else will make the best transition in all of comedy? Something smells pretty fishy. It must be the next video. <laughs> Please, everybody turn your tuna on silent. It's just not fair though when it comes to fishermen. They fish up free tires, boots, tin cans, and personal massagers. And that fish looks like it works better than my personal massager I paid 50 bucks for at Brookstone. My mind was total crap, but this was total cart. This video got me thinking, I've been noticing I miss my ex-girlfriend a lot, and she broke up with me about a week ago, and I miss her, and I want to get back in contact with her, but I didn't know how until I saw this. Check it out. Has this ever happened to you? Tired of your exes always being aware of you stalking them? If so, Extract is the app for you. Extract is the new revolutionary app for the modern stalker. Why waste hours following your exes and fighting the restraining orders they have against you when you could keep track of them on your smartphone? Observe. It's as easy as one, two, three. Actually, it's as simple as whatever your ex's phone number is, because with Extract, all you have to do is enter in your ex's phone number, and then Extract does the rest. Thanks to a recent breach in NSA security, we've acquired the latest and greatest in surveillance technology. Extract gives you complete access to your ex's phone's camera and microphone, in addition to their GPS location. Now you can see your ex, hear your ex, and know where your ex is at all times from the comfort of your own home. Before Extract, I had to dig through Valerie's laundry in order to see what was in her pockets. Now, I just have to watch the live feed from her phone camera. Thanks, Extract! Before Extract, I felt like I spent all my time in court and none of my time stalking Chad. Now that I can stalk from a distance, I even have more time to stalk his new girlfriend. <laughs> Thanks, Extract! If physically stalking someone is taking too much of a toll on you, you need Extract. Stop wasting your time lurking and hiding and start tracking. I'm expecting him in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Thanks, Extract. Extract, now on Google Play and the App Store. Extract, search GPS location of ex Tina Fey. What? Uh, if she's your girlfriend and your internet fantasies, that, that counts, right? Whatever. At least I can eat my sorrows away. Hey man, can I get a large fry, please? He's not about to do I'm really glad McDonald's most recent pay and happiness campaign is paying off, but you can't really blame the kid. He was just getting experience for his future career. Paul Blart looks a lot angrier since getting demoted to McDonald's security guard. I mean, I'm a big Blart fan myself, but he's number two after my hero, 2 Chains. I always ask myself, WW2CD, 
What would two chains do? If it's my french fries, I get them. And he's at the wrong burger place anyways. You can have it your way at Burger King, and that's all he wanted. Now here's Connor with the fail of the week. Thanks, Derek. I'm your fail master, Connor Henriksen, and this is why road construction takes so freaking long. <laughs> I was hurt by my safety hat. Have fun explaining that one to OSHA. I had no clue that the slow and stop signs were just visual indicators of their current intelligence. This is what happens once you get too old for the village people. Hopefully, the sailor or the policeman can run over and give the guy a hand. Honestly, though, I'm going to give the guy some advice. Just start wearing a hard hat all the time. In the shower, at Bed Bath & Beyond, while he's sleeping. Just like Derek and his need for adult diapers. Dang it, Connor, that's seasonal and you know that. Daily isn't seasonal, Derek. We're aware of your condition and we're glad you're here. Back to you, buddy. Thanks, Connor, for adding me to America. You mean the average of 158 people who will eventually watch this? Speaking of backstabbing snakes who attack you when you least expect it, Connor, here's our next clip. <laughs> this anaconda wants your buns if you poke them with a stick, hun. But let's leave Nicki Minaj's behind, behind here. I'm calling for a memorandum on poking stuff with a stick. Stop poking stuff with sticks, guys. Okay, only poke stuff that deserves a good poke. Like the dead body I found next to a creek. Now that's a fun thing to poke. Wait, you're calling the cops? Narc! Narc alert! Whatever. A few of our cast members were poking around the studio earlier and came across something spooky. Check it out. So this one time, I was in here really late after a shoot and I was in charge of checking all the mics. One of the actors leaves and takes off his mic, which I forgot to turn off because I was checking my ex's live feed on Extract. Anyway, I was about to Snapchat a friend when all of a sudden, I heard footsteps coming from the studio. I waited quietly to see what would happen, and then I heard some whispering coming from the mic, and I swear it said, we will not walk in fear of one another. Has anyone actually seen the ghost? I mean, I honestly don't think he'd be hanging around someplace like this. Guys, just because we haven't seen anything yet doesn't mean the ghost isn't here. I'm not feeling any kind of energy tonight. Honestly, this room is pretty void of ghosts. It's hopeless. We can use these flashlights to communicate with any ghosts that are possibly in the building. Yes, and if the light turns off, it's a yes. And if it stays on, then it's a no. Yeah. Is there a presence in the room? <laughs> Did you die here? This dog will help us find any ectoplasmic residue that any ghost may have left behind around the building. So we'll just let her walk around and see if she steps out anything. What losers! They didn't notice the ghost the whole time. They need to get their viral vision checked. Anyways, that's our show everybody. Thanks for watching and like us on Facebook. <laughs> Good night everybody. Whoa. Grandma was right. I am a pansy. Goodbye. I get one thing. You are so beautiful to me. Given pretty tools, then what would one more time call it? You're just dead. And die. Yes. <laughs> come on. It'll be a, come on, you're barely in the season. Come on. <laughs> Do like a shark thing. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Why is this possible? <laughs>